welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with chapter 5, Electromagnetic Induction. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss 5.5 .5 Mutual Inductance. Okay, so before we start to do discussion, okay, we look at these the equations that we will use in this uh, subtopic. So the mutual inductance equations for the solenoid, we can use m equals to mu naught and 1 and 2a over length. Okay, so mutual inductance is actually is the production of the induced MF due to the change of the current in the neighboring conductor. Therefore, we also can use M. Okay, if I say M1, we can write as N1 N and the flux 1 over current 2. Okay, or we also can write N N2 flux 2 over I1. Okay, so when there's changes of the magnetic flux, it's because of the neighboring current changing. Okay. Okay, so let us look at example 11. Okay, the current of 3 ampere flow in coin C and it produces a magnetic flux 0 0.75 Weibull. Okay, next, for a coin D, coin D is moved near to coin C. Coexistently, the flux is 0 0.25 Weibull is produced in coin D. Okay, if coin C has 100 tons and coin D has 500 tons. Okay, so number one, Okay, calculate the self-inductance of coin C and the energy store in C. Okay, before D is moved near to it. So now we only want to find the self-inductance for coin C. Okay, so self-inductance for coin C, L is equal to N flux over I. Okay, where now we have for coin C, okay, we have the current, IC is 3 ampere. We have the flux C is equal to 0 0.75 Weber. And we also have a number of turns for C where it's equal to 1000 turns. Okay, so we can substitute into the equations where N is 1000, flux is 0 0.75, current is equal to 3 ampere. Okay, therefore we will get 250 Henry. Okay, so this is a self inductance for coin C. Okay, energy store in coin C, okay, where U is equal to half Li square. So we substitute. L is 250, I for coin C is 3 ampere square. Therefore, we will get 1125 joule. Okay, so this is the self inductance of coin C and energy store in C. Okay, next, calculate the mutual inductance of the coin. So, mutual inductance of the coin here, we have two equations as I mentioned just now. Okay, either you use N1 flux 1 over I2, or we can use, okay, we can use. N2 flux 2 over I1. Okay, so it depends on what are the information that we have. Okay, so we go back to the, the question just now. For coin D, uh, what are the information we have? For coin D, we have uh, the okay, ID, we don't know. Okay, we have the magnetic flux D is 2 0 0.25 Weber, and the number of turns for D is equal to 5000 turns. Okay, so now. The mutual inductance M is equal to N1 flux 1 over I2 or you can write N2 flux 2 over I1 Okay, so 1 is C, uh, 2 is D uh. So actually it's, uh, we can use the information from coin C to find the mutual inductance uh, because if you use coin D, we don't have the value for uh, the current flowing through coin D Okay, therefore we will use the second equations Okay, where we have and D, flux D, and we have I1. Okay, I1 is IC. Lah. Okay, so we substitute inside here where N2 is 5000, flux 2 is 0 0.25, I1 is 3 ampere. Okay, so we will get the answer is 417 Henry. Okay, so this is the mutual inductance of coin. Okay, okay next. If the current in C decreases, Okay, so when it decreases uniformly from 3 ampere to 0 ampere in 0 0.25 second, calculate the induced EMF in coin D. Okay, so if you want to find the induced EMF in coin D, okay, we can use negative M di over D D. Okay, so induced EMF equals to negative M. M is the mutual inductance 417. Okay, I over dt here, we must take final, where final is 0, initial is 3, over 0 0.25 second. Okay, therefore, the induced EMF in coin D is 5,004 volt. 
Okay, so this is the answer for example 11C. Okay, next we will continue with example 12 where we have two coins X and Y are magnetically coupled. The EMF induced in Y is 2.5 volt when the current flowing through coin X changes in the rate of 5 ampere per second. Okay, so this is actually the I over the T. Okay, it's equal to 5. Okay, determine the mutual inductance of the coin. Okay, so the equation that we can use is EMF equals to M the I over the T, where EMF here is 2.5, M we don't know, the I over the T is 5. Therefore, the mutual inductance of the coin is equal to 0 0.5 Henry. Okay, okay, next, if the EMF induced in coin X, if there is a current flowing through coin Y, which changes at the rate of 1.5 ampere per second. Okay, so again, again, our EMF here is equal to M di over dt. Okay, where M is 0 0.5 because it's mutually, okay, we can use for X also, we can use for Y yeah, because it's mutual inductance. The I over dt now is 1.5. Okay, therefore, we will get 0 0.75 volt. Okay, next. Example 13 Okay, a two coin X and Y are magnetically compound. Coin Y has 50 turns, a current of 2.5 ampere flowing through coin X and produce a magnetic field so that the magnetic flux is 35 milliweber passing through coin Y. Okay, so the first one, we, what are the information we have? Uh, we have the number of turns for Y, we have the current flowing through X, okay, and then we also have the magnetic flux produced by Y. Okay, so if you want to find mutual inductance of the coin, okay, we have two equations as I mentioned just now, N1 flux 1 over I2 or you can use N2 flux 2 over I1. Okay, so it depends on what the information you have. So now, based on the information we have, we have N2, we have I1, and we have flux 2. So we can use this equation, okay, where N2 is uh, Y, N2 here is 50, flux 2 is 35 milli, and the current is 25 ampere. Okay, okay therefore, we, the answer is 0 0.7 Henry. Okay, so this is the mutual inductance of the coin. Okay, next, the current is 2.5 ampere, which flow through coin X changes to 4.5 ampere in 2 milliseconds. Okay, estimate the average EMF induced in coin Y in the time interval of 2 milliseconds. So again, EMF is equal to mutual inductance times di over dt. Okay, so M, we can use back 0.7. I, we must take final minus initial is 4.5 minus 2.5 and the time taken is 2 milliseconds so it's 2 exponent negative 3 okay therefore the induced EMF is equal to 700 volt okay so that's all for this chapter we will continue with the new topic chapter 6 okay so see you on the next video bye okay.